With climate change, natural hazards become more extreme and more frequent. In many places, communities are already affected by these extreme events. This is where nature-based solutions come in to protect, restore, sustainably manage and create new ecosystems. Nature-based solutions can also reduce climate-related hazards. For example, wetlands, they can store water and reduce the flood risk in nearby regions. But if nature-based solutions are so effective, why are they still underfinanced? While traditional economic analysis methods may work well when it comes to assessing the protection benefits of grey infrastructure like seawalls and concrete drainage channels, the evaluation of nature-based solutions is complex. It requires expertise from multiple disciplines including environmental economics, climate risk modeling, ecology, hydrology and social sciences. Although it is possible to quantify the value of ecosystems, many financial instruments don't account for the multiple values that nature provides yet. In our systematic review, we screened over 3,000 academic publications and 78 non-academic databases. And we found 76 examples of nature-positive climate risk transfer and financing instruments that are already implemented. An example of such instruments can be found in the US where the national flood insurance includes a community rating system where if a community reduces the flood risk, for example through green spaces or early warning systems, they can get a reduction of their insurance premium. There's also performance-based instruments which support nature-based solutions. In 2016, the local water authority in Washington DC issued an environmental impact bond. That bond was performance-based, so it means that repayments to the investors depend on on the actual achieved ecosystem services, in this case, water runoff reduction. We also found examples of debt instruments, like a debt for nature swap. The first one issued in mainland Africa of these instruments was in Gabon in 2023, where the government of Gabon agreed on a transaction with the Nature Conservancy and the Bank of America, and they basically exchanged 500 million US dollar against a commitment to conserve their oceans and coastal ecosystems. The Mexican reef insurance is an example of an ecosystem insurance. When a tropical cyclone hits a certain wind speed, the insurance is triggered, a payout is made to send out reef brigades that have help to restore the reef after it was damaged by a tropical cyclone. While this is a great start, I think it's a far cry from closing the nature and adaptation finance gaps. The State of Finance for Nature report, published by the UN Environment Programme, estimates that global annual investments in nature would have to almost triple to achieve climate, biodiversity and land degradation neutrality targets by 2030 from 200 billion US dollar in 2023 to 542 billion dollar by 2030. Private financing only accounted for just 18% of finance for nature in the 2023 baseline. By creating this database, we have real-world examples that these instruments already exist. So implementing them at scale can allow us to leverage additional resources for conservation financing in the future.